Let's take this across to our entertainment editor Tushar Joshi for more details. Tushar, what do you make of Salman Khan's comment and how has it really been perceived within the industry? Because inevitably when you talk about censorship of OTT, it's largely artists, actors, directors who say no, we don't want censorship. So it's interesting that someone within the industry is now saying there's a need for it. Akshita, what is interesting is the fact that Salman has said this before. It's not the first time that Salman has made this comment. And it comes as no surprise for not just people in the industry, but outside as well. I mean, Salman is a producer himself. He not only is producing films, but he's also looking at getting into the OTT space. Now, he's very clear in terms of what kind of films he wants to make. He's also very clear in terms of what kind of OTT content he wants to make. Whenever he has worn the producer's hat, he's very clear there'll be no obscenity, there'll be no bikini scenes, there'll be no vulgarity, there won't be any action that the family can't go and watch. So his comment in public space is seen as a very, like a superstar coming out and speaking against the fact that there needs to be some sort of regulation uh, in the OTT space. Very true, and it is definitely the need of the hour as well. Uh, but Tushar, you know, within the industry itself, is there any question of regulation? Is there a sentiment that sometimes it's overdone by these uh, uh, filmmakers who take that liberty on OTT and then sometimes, you know, kind of uh, cross the line with uh, nudity, with words, with the kind of language that's used? Listen, filmmaking is a creative process. Now, you and me might differ against the kind of content, about the kind of content that we enjoy watching. But I know for a fact that a lot of films, a lot of scripts, a lot of actors whose work doesn't pass through uh, the, the regular norm of watching it in a theater do go to the OTT space. One is because there are no norms and no regularization. Second is because you can push the envelope there, uh, whether it's nudity, whether it's obscenity, whether it's vulgarity, dialogues. You can have racy dialogues. You don't have anybody sitting and trimming this. So the industry definitely feels that there is a there is a place to breathe when it comes to the OTT space. That space obviously is not available when you have a 70 mm, when you have a theatrical release happening because then the sense of comes into play. Okay, Tushar, uh, stay on with us. We'll continue to come across to you. But I want to take you through some of the arguments for and against censorship of OTT. Those who are for it, like Salman Khan, say that there's vulgarity largely that's grouping OTT com uh, content. Argument against, essentially, is that this any sort of censorship or regulation would curtail the freedom of creators, the freedom of artists on this platform. Another point is very often said as far as these OTT shows particularly are concerned that there's a lot of nudity and very often obscenity in OTT shows. Subscribers are well aware of the OTT content is what filmmakers say. They say that we very clearly give a disclaimer saying this is only for adults. There's easy access however to vulgar content for children because of the fact that there's no way anyone can stop anyone from viewing content on OTT. So children have easy access to some of this adult content. But the argument against that is also that self-regulation must be followed. That there's no need for anyone to kind of come across and put an umbrella certification or ban or censor any content. So those are some of the arguments for and against OTT censorship. I want to play out for you once again exactly what Salman Khan said when he batted for censorship, saying that there are teenagers out there who are having easy access to content which is vulgar, which is obscene, according to him. I just think that I don't believe in that kind of content. I just think that there should be a censor on OTT and all this, you know, vulgarity, nudity, gali, galoch should, you know, stop because चलो पंद्रह साल का सोलह साल का बच्चा देख ले आपको अच्छा लगे कि आपकी छोटी सी बेटी देखे पढ़ने के बहाने में तो आई जस्ट थिंक दैट जो कंटेंट शुड बी चेक्ड ऑन ऑन ओटीटी एंड जितना क्लीन होगा कंटेंट उतना बेहतर होगा so the comment coming in from Salman Khan is go ahead and censor OTT content. It's the need of the hour. This is something the government also has said repeatedly. Tushar, bringing it back across to you, uh, you know, how really uh, uh, have other, uh, uh, you know, actors in Bollywood really reacted so far as far as censorship of OTT is concerned? Salman Khan has spoken out. Have any of the other superstars really had an opinion on this? Um, Akshita, I'll give you an inside scoop on something that has recently happened. Omi Ajania, who's made Cocktail, and he's a very renowned filmmaker and a director, he had a show named Saas Pahu or Cocaine, uh, slated for OTT release. 
that has now changed to sars bahu or flamingo now clearly the word cocaine uh, was the issue over here goes to show that homi who usually is seen as a risk taker uh, doesn't really want to get into that space where perhaps he would have people sit and dance over his head asking him to cut content asking him to regulate stuff so the title of sars bahu or cocaine cocaine which has uh, dimple kapadia also part of the cast is now changed to sars bahu or flamingo one of the examples of what we are discussing right now that a lot of filmmakers increasingly are also trying are shying away are not wanting to take those risks going through the headaches of uh, perhaps you know having protests perhaps having cuts and censorship happening at a later stage so the reaction to salman has been that salman feels this way a lot of uh, filmmakers and actors are not in support of what he feels they also feel that this is the only space that lets them be themselves and give them the clear creative liberty and freedom Akshita. All right, so that's definitely a very interesting point that we do take, and we will take that forward. Tushar, thanks for joining us uh, with your insider on this.